Jerry. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our live today. We have a jam packed show, so let's get started. Are we started? Essential oils definitely can help. We like giveaways. We do like giveaways. Forget about the dishes, forget about the laundry, forget about all of that for a minute. That's the same with essential oils, you guys. You have to figure out what works for you. You're gonna see a huge difference, a huge difference. Welcome back everyone. Okay, so we are going to be talking about the oil of the week. We have our fact or, our fact or fiction segment. Um, we are going to be talking about some of the products up here, some promotions, but what I think is most important is we may or may not have a little bit of a sneak peek information about the upcoming holiday sales. So <laughs> who's excited about that? I am. Okay, so I'm gonna make you guys wait for that um, because we're gonna see who's joining. <laughs> Oops, and I have to refresh. <laughs> okay, who's joining us on Instagram, Caitlin? Uh, we had Jinxie Bat joining us, um, Mom of Boys, Petra Fidget. Um, oh, we have Ashley and Matthews from Arkansas. We have lots of people joining us on We Instagram. have Caitlin <laughs> joining yeah, us Caitlin. today. <laughs> Caitlin's here replacing Katrina. So everyone say hi to Caitlin, although we talk about Caitlin all the time because she always gives us the awesome answers that, we're, that I don't know. <laughs> um, but she's actually here. Okay, let's see. On Facebook and YouTube, we have Olinda oh, is excited about the sneak peeks. Linda, I'm excited to tell you. We have Carol from Greenville, Tennessee. Um, a lot of people are just super excited about the sneak peeks not telling me where they're from. Emily is joining from cold and wet Arizona. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> Mandy's joining us from Northern California. Um, a lot of people just freaking out about the sneak peek again. We have GP from the Philippines. <laughs> we have Rachel from California, Jocelyn from Kelowna, British Columbia. Kelowna, did I say that right? It's a cool name. Come Jody from me. Washington. And Donna says hi from Virginia. So welcome everyone, thanks for joining us. Okay, so here's the thing. Do we talk about the sneak peek information? Cause I'm guessing you guys are gonna have to questions after everything else. <laughs> we probably should, I'm making a, a executive decision here. Okay, <laughs> I love you guys, it's coming. But first, spotlight oil of the week is cardamom. Um, cardamom is a really good oil this time of year because it has that like spicy scent um, that a lot of people are familiar with, you know, this time of year to just kind of, you know, like the, the cinnamons and the, the clove and the cardamoms and then the, you know, citruses like the orange and stuff. That's what a lot of people um, are familiar with for a lot of different, you know, holiday dishes as well as what are just our home smell like during the holidays. So cardamom is really good for that. Um, it's also really good for respiratory and digestive systems. So it can help um, help with respiratory support and also aid digestive issues. So, um, and well, look at this because it's stimulating. So it is it is that spicy kind of warm oil. Um, and in, it is stimulating and it says that sometimes it can be used as an aphrodisiac. Just saying. So cardamom, 15% off, no coupon code necessary. Add it to your cart before Tuesday of next week or by Tuesday of next week um, to get the 15% off discount. And then I have some bad news that goes along with this good news. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, Danny's ready. <laughs> Um, this is our last spotlight oil of the week until the beginning of the year. 
and <laughs> he's excited. <laughs> so during the holidays, we are not doing Spotlight Oil of the Week because we have enough going on. Um, so this is the last chance to take advantage of one of our, our Oil of the Weeks until the beginning of the new year, which, you know, of course, we will be revamping it a little bit. Um, so there you have it, cardamom. We're ending it with the bang, you guys, especially a wonderful bang for this time of year. So if you're interested on it, in it, if it's been on your wish list, 15% off, great discount. Any questions can about do, cardamom? Can I do the oil of the week thing since it's the last one? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't be sorry. Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. la, 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 oil of the week. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. No, thank um, you. Andrea says, so it smells like cinnamon. No, it doesn't smell like cinnamon. Um, it smells like cardamom, so if, if you're familiar with that um, that spice, it has a very similar smell. Um, let's see. Um, it's just a spicy, warm, like cinnamon is another spicy, warm oil, um, but it doesn't smell like cinnamon. 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 Um, Susie says she just ordered it. I get some to help me digest all my turkey, Anna says. Yeah, Friday um, we're actually making a turkeys. Oh, fun. Kendra says it's great for upset bellies. Uh, Mandy says, I just realized that the Christmas sales will be starting. They are really soon. Um, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of that in a minute. And Cardamom is pup and pony safe. Pup and pony safe. Look at Caitlin coming to the rescue. <laughs> I know. Cassie says cardamom is life. <laughs> Whoa. She has strong feelings for cardamom. <laughs> <laughs> I like cardamom because it has mom in the name. I mean, there are just, you guys, apparently a lot of you just are in love with cardamom. <laughs> and especially this time of year, it really is pretty awesome. Yeah, like chai tea. I've seen a, peep, a few people say cardamom is like chai tea. It has in chai tea. It's in chai tea. Um, what oils blend with well with cardamom? Other spices are, are really good, you know, like a black pepper, a cinnamon, um, clove. All of those blend really well with cardamom. Um, also, I mean, really every oil, right? Like... Citruses blend really well with cardamom. I really like kind of herbaceous, so like the, or even the towards the medicinal, like a tea tree, a um, eucalyptus, all those are do really well with cardamom as well. So there's a lot of oils that blend well with cardamom. Suzanne says, oh, it reminds me of my mom's Icelandic treat, vini tartar. Mm, that's Ooh. fun. And I love how the aromas do remind us of things, you know, some of that are, that are a bit more familiar. Vanilla and cardamom is wonderful. Yeah, orange blends well with it. Okay, are you seeing any questions on Instagram, Caitlin? Um, I'm not seeing any. I have people asking when Mercury in retrograde is over. Okay, Ooh. well, that's next on my list. <laughs> that okay, it's really not, <laughs> but, but it can be. Um, so today, <laughs> there you go. Yep, get it today. Not only is Mercury retrograde, done today which means my five-year-old will stop crying over everything i love you amelia but seriously <laughs> the last week or two has been rough <laughs> so not only will that be happening but today is also the last day to get plant therapies mercury retrograde so if you want mercury retrograde get it now it's up in that deer up there Oh, like someone coming up here? Oh, did you hear something? I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. So that there you my, have it. Mercury retrograde. Today is the last day to purchase it <laughs> because it's gone. Mercury retrograde is also. Mercury will be back in its correct spot. Well, I guess it always is there, but visually it will be. <laughs> um, so there you have it. Mercury retrograde. I'll grab it. And for those of you who may or not know, um, it comes with, it has a new exclusive sticker that it comes with this time. So it's a different sticker. Here, Danny. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different sticker than what we launched with last time. This one says, blame it on Mercury. Um, Mercury retrograde, ugh, not again. Well, it's over today, <laughs> people. So there Good you have Mercury retrograde. Mercury. Yep. Um, let's see. Okay, Maggie said, I thought so. Um, did you what? see... Did you see Cassie? She said, are those chapsticks like giant size? They are. We're going to talk about those in a minute. 
Um, so someone said, what is mercury retrograde? So mercury retrograde, as in not the oil, is when mercury looks like it's in the wrong spot. What is it? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. What was that? What is Mercury retrograde? Um, so it's when like the moon like looks like it's going backwards. I think. No, it's... Mercury. Oh, Mercury. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, it's Mercury that's going backwards. Why is Mercury Otherwise, going it would backwards? be Moon retrograde. <laughs> I'm not good with astrology. <laughs> it's when Mercury. I knew it would look like Mercury was in the wrong place or doing something wrong. Yeah, it's like so going it's backwards. when it looks like it's going backwards. It's not the case. Um, however, it is just the perception of it, which apparently causes everything to just like go cray cray. Um, so plant therapy developed a blend called Mercury retrograde, and we launched this blend only when Mercury is in retrograde. Um, and usually that lasts about a month. So I think it's like every quarter it happens, something like that. Yeah, and we something. launch this blend every time. So this is the second time. Um, and this blend is just to help you feel like balanced and calm and you know, like you're getting your crap together even when Mercury is in retrograde. <laughs> So was that an appropriate way to state it? Did you just say crap I on did. live? <laughs> Tina is asking if cardamom is safe for kids. It is. Um, so is mercury retrograde. <laughs> Imagine that. So that's mercury retrograde. And we just have this blend to kind of just help you feel balanced while mercury retrograde is making everything feel out of balance. And it smells wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I might add. If you're if you're having problems with your computer, you just dump it dump on the Dump a little bit of mer No, don't. Don't oh. do it. <laughs> Send Danny the bill if you do. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. So it's the last oil. Okay, so we're going to show you these big lip balms. Um, and I actually bought a couple of these sets for Christmas gifts because I think it's just like, you know, for any teenager or, you know, like young adult or children. I don't think these are kids safe. Older children. <laughs> I may have got one for my five-year-old, but I didn't say that here. Um, they're great stocking stuffers, so they're huge. Um, you can buy them individually, or you can buy them in this Holiday Sweets Natural Lip Balm set, um, which is different than the Holiday Sweets Essential Oil set. Um, so the Na Holiday Sweets Natural Lip Balm set, it comes with the three of them. We were just discussing what ones we like the smell of the best. Um, and so it has gingerbread cookie, butterscotch candy, and peppermint orange. So they're really quite wonderful, you guys. And the tubes, I wish, do we have by chance the smaller ones? Do you know, Jerry? Yeah, we might have some Jerry's going to look. She's so kind. She was doing something on the floor, but she's getting up for you guys. Um, Beautiful mess. But I mean, the smaller ones mine. would be like this and like really skinny. <laughs> like Super skinny. these Very are bad. huge. It's like a unicorn. I'll just be a unicorn the rest of the show. <laughs> Balance it. I can't. Um, but they are huge. Let's see. How many ounces are they? They're half an ounce. Yeah, and they're really. I think the regular ones are like 0.17 ounces or something. Yeah, these are like, like way smaller of those. Yeah, these are way bigger um, and they're and they smell amazing. So I was saying that gingerbread cookie is like to die for. And then Caitlin was saying that butterscotch candy is to die for her. Well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and um, and I'm not a huge fan of butterscotch, actually. So honestly, it was my least favorite, but it's Caitlin's favorite. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's just a normal size. And then on the website, it says that those normal tubes are 0.5 ounces. Okay. Wait, so this, 0.15, sorry. 0. Oh, 15. I was like, this, okay, I thought it was 0.17. So yeah. that's, this is a normal lip balm two size, size, a normal lip balm tube. Yeah, I said it right, size, compared to the large ones. So, I mean, can you guys tell? Like, they're huge. They're, they're big. Yeah, they're really awesome. Really fun, awesome. Stocking supper, gift idea. I just, oh, crap. Well... <laughs> That didn't work. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna put those up there like that. Um, any questions about the big lip balms? 70s throwback size chapstick. <laughs> I mean, that's really what we wanted to do, right? We wanted to make them like kind of whimsical and fun and um, for this, this limited time. These are limited time um, lip balms too, so keep that in mind. Carla wants to know what the shelf life is of those. Mm, I don't know. That's a really good question. I wonder, Probably 50 years. If, if it <laughs> says it on the... Um, on the website? Yeah. Um, Beautiful Mess said today it's her daughter Paisley's 
fourth oh, birthday. No, you're Paisley three? Yes, beautiful miss. I have a Paisley two. She does have and it. I wish it was her fourth birthday. <laughs> I wish she was potty trained. <laughs> Sleeping through yeah. the night. Happy birthday, Paisley. Happy birthday, Paisley. This would be, a, oh, never mind. I can't say it. Dang it. Okay, um, these have a shelf life of one to two years, these lip balms. They're really fun to use, guys. Yeah, they're really <laughs> I awesome. I really like these. Let's see if there's any other. So shelf life, um, let's see. Can you compare like the tops of them so they can see like how much like wider they are too? Oh maybe? my goodness. Yeah, open one of those up. Open the one you want to keep. Oh, I think she uh, means this. Oh, oh yeah, that's perfect. All right, well let me zoom in with zoom. I'm not loading comments anymore. I don't know why my thing hates me. It hates me too. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna have pity parties over here. <laughs> Maybe one of these days, sorry, I'll switch over to that camera. Danny's gonna tell oh. me, do, are there any questions or comments on Instagram while I'm reloading my? Um, just them commenting that they'll never get lost in the handbags, which is so <laughs> <Yeah>. true. <laughs> yeah. And I don't lose them in my car either. I have like two of them mm. floating around in there and I haven't lost You're them You're good, yet. Danny? Yep, we're good. That's what that thumbs up was. Okay, I'm reloading. Danny, do you see anything that's popped up on Facebook or YouTube? Um, Heart, 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 the giant lip balms. Yeah. Um, um, my old bosses used the big lip balms and once mistaken it for a glue stick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it, it is the size of a large glue stick, like yeah, one of those large ones. As long as it's not the other way around. Where you <laughs> exactly glue You're stick mistaking your a glue stick for, for lip balm. Do, uh, Lydia was wondering how much is the lip balm set? Do we know? I mean, I'm sure we do. Um, right I have it pulled up in front of me. One page says 907 and one page said 1295. I think it's the 1295 price. Um, I am showing 1295 on the website. Okay. Yeah, yep. when I clicked on it, it like changed. That's interesting. Oh, are you logged in? You're I probably don't... logged into your... Um, this is Danny's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that's why. Yep. <laughs> that's the employee <laughs> discount. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So Lynn said, Oops. please give away the lip balms. My lips are so dry already. Okay. I'm just saying, if you stick around, there might be No, a... let's just give Lynn one. Lynn, tell oh. us what one, tell us what one you want. You choose out of the three, the butterscotch, the gingerbread, or the peppermint and orange. What one do you want? And we'll give you one. Yeah, let us know. Lynn. Because my comments aren't loading, so I'm just gonna <laughs> give stuff away. <laughs> Cause I really want to be able to see the comments. Danny, you can see the comments still. Yeah, are they not pulling up on yours? Well, they just froze and it's not refreshing for me. Um, yeah, but so I want to make sure that we can see the comments. Oh, you need me to just open a new one? Yeah, so go ahead and close that tab. And if you hit the plus sign, it'll open another tab and there's a restream comments uh, little quick thing there, so. Yep, it's popping up now. Yeah, I have to do that every once in a while too. Okay, I want gingerbread, Sandy. Is that who said they wanted it? No, or are people Lynn just telling she, me, if you, you guys, <laughs> only if you are Lynn, do you get one? Gingerbread, Lynn please. Gingerbread, please. <laughs> Maybe we'll give more away. We probably will. Keep telling me what one you want. <laughs> we'll pick a few more winners. Why not? Okay, um, because a lot of you want to tell me what one's your favorite. So we're going to pick some winners. Danny, why don't you just pick some winners, interrupt me throughout, and just tell me, um, Caitlin, you pick a couple winners on Instagram, okay. too. All right. Rita Wade wants butterscotch. Oh. And then Jen Waldner 86 wants gingerbread. Okay. Okay, so make sure you remember those. I like what you're throwing. These down. <laughs> Let's do, did, were, your, were the two on, well, Lynn was on YouTube, right? Lynn was on YouTube. So do two on Facebook. Rita Wade is on Facebook. So one more on Facebook and we'll call the lip balms a day, a night. <laughs> I don't know. Call it a night. That's what the saying is. All right. Getting you got one those more? down, Mom? Rita Wade. Rita Wade. R H E T T A. So, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, she wanted gingerbread. Gingerbread. Mm-hmm. That's what I Okay. Well, I do have a one from another one from Facebook, and she wants the peppermint one. There, peppermint and orange, yummy. And that is Rena. Rena. R I N A, R I N N A. Rena. 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 Facebook. Okay, Rena, Rena, and everyone else, we have a fact or fiction for you, and then we're going to talk about the sneak peek. Okay? So, Danny, you don't have an introduction to this, right? For the fact or fiction? Yeah. No. 
Okay, so here you go. I have this statement here. You tell me if it's a fact or a fiction, the statement, okay? Cinnamon is safe to use at a 3% dilution. <laughs> Cinnamon is safe to use at a 3% dilution. Is that fact or fiction? Hmm. Tell us what you think, and then I'm gonna tell you what the right answer is. Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da 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 -da. You guys. Have you seen any facts? Any fictions? Seeing lots of fiction. I have a lot of questions about this. So hmm. this will be good. I'm, I'm excited to learn. Fact or fiction? Fact or fiction. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of both too. Well, well, mostly fiction. I did see some fact though. Okay, here we go. So the correct answer is fiction. Um. So most oils, um, we recommend like just a general, so we have our general dilution recommendation, right? So for everyday use, you know, we would recommend, and depending on age, um, but we would probably recommend like one to three percent, right? And that's safe for most oils. Um, for something that's like a specific area, you have like muscle, that can even go up to like five or ten percent on the super high end if you're really concentrating on something. That's kind of for, you know, full body or specific use. Um, however, there are some oils that have a max dilution recommendation, and this is based off of the topical safety um, of that oil. So cinnamon is, a, all cinnamons are, is, are super, super hot oils. And um, sadly, I have had personal experience with burning my skin or a child's skin using cinnamon, <laughs> true story. Actually, it was the germ fighter, but it was the cinnamon in it before we had our kids safe line. Um, and I've heard lots of customer stories about, you know, them, them burning themselves or a child or something and because cinnamon is so hot and you'll actually like if it's if you put it on and you have sensitive skin you'll actually get like boils like it legit burns your skin you guys um and so cinnamon b depending on what cinnamon it is um they all have a different max dilution recommendation so let me pull up here because i don't remember so one of them is 0. 0.6 so let's see Cinnamon cassia has a max dilution of 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Do you guys know how much diluted that has to be to apply it to your skin? Okay, not even a half of a percentage, 0 0.05, like, okay. Like one drop per 10 mil. Per a lot, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Um, okay, let's see, cinnamon leaf has a maximum dilution of 0.6% for topical use, and then cinnamon bark has a maximum dilution of 0.1% for topical use. Um, so keep that in mind when you're using something that has cinnamon in it, when you are, and when we have blends, we obviously take the percentage of the cinnamon in the blend into, into account when we are giving a recommended um, topical dilution, right? Um, but if you're creating your own blends, keep that in mind. And then if you're using them individually, topically, make sure you are diluting to that amount. So often we don't recommend cinnamon be used topically by itself. Um, in a blend, it's already diluted more and then you're diluting it more. So often it's a lot safer then, but just cinnamon by itself, it's not something that we are often recommending that you use topically because you have to dilute it so much for it to be safe for topical application. Um, but like diffused in the air is a fantastic way to use cinnamon um, in like a cleaner to, you know, kill like germies on surfaces and stuff is also fantastic. But topical, you have to be pretty careful, really careful with it. Um, any questions there? So, uh, Pretty Paradise says, what would I use then to get cockroaches away? Cinnamon works great on a cockroach. If you have cockroaches on your skin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't put it on your skin. <laughs> um, Lillian says, I accidentally got cinnamon on my arm once. So I had used our germ fighter blend. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this because we're all human, right? I'd use my germ fighter blend um, diluted in a way that we don't recommend you dilute in a bath anymore. But 
it used to be a, an acceptable way to dilute for a bath. So I had used it for that and my child just like sat right on it and it wasn't fully diluted and it burned maybe a little sensitive area. Thank goodness it was a tiny amount. Like he was like, ah, oh, that's hot and got out and I immediately saw the red and I was able to put a carrier oil on it to dilute it. So that's something that we recommend. If you do have a reaction like that, get a carrier oil and put it on because that's what's going to dilute it. Don't try to wash it off because the water's not going to work. Mm -hmm. um, so do a carrier oil, allow that to dilute it and then you can use soap and water to get it off. Um, so there's some other information about my great parenting skills. <laughs> Yeah, not kid safe, not kid safe. <laughs> this was before that ever was like a thing and you know, we were a lot freer back then. That was so many years ago, you guys. That probably happened like seven years ago or something, eight years ago maybe. Um, Maggie, Maggie was asking, oh sorry, are the oils safe for Corian countertops as a cleaner? Um, so I would do a test. I know like on granite, some citruses aren't recommended because um, it can eat at the like finish. I, I'm not familiar with Corian countertop, so if there's like a finish, I know some citruses can eat at that. Um, so I maybe check like online with the manufacturer and see, or maybe do a test spot, but yeah. Yeah, and any, if anybody watching has done a test. Not kid place, safe. I know guys, this thing I'm sharing with you is a no-no. I'm sharing it because I also have made mistakes before, right? So we're all human in case you've, because I've seen people saying that they've also burned themselves with cinnamon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, any questions on Instagram, Caitlin, about cinnamon or Not my wonderful parenting? Cinnamon. Um, people are, however, are asking still if the lip balms are kid safe and they are not kid safe. Yeah. <laughs> for a certain standard. <laughs> for, for our plant therapy standard. However, do your own research. If it's something you feel safe using with your children, that's a choice you get to make. But from a plant therapy standard, we do not have them listed as kid safe. Um, and a couple reasons for that is, it's, one, it's a couple of the ingredients that aren't related to oils, um, but there are a couple that, like, um, well, the gingerbread and the peppermint one are specific to the essential oils. The other one is another ingredient. Like, it's like something else in it. Yeah. I don't know. I was told once. Human blood. <laughs> that was the ingredient we added. Yeah. That's not true, guys. I was totally kidding. Okay. So now that... I have screwed up everyone with my cinnamon story. <laughs> Who wants a sneak peek of the holiday special? Let's awesome. do it. Okay, guys, so we are mixing it up this year. And the reason we are telling you now is because we have heard you in the year of 2019, and we have done things and not told our customers we were doing it, <laughs> and you guys didn't love that. So we are telling you early that we are changing it. So here's what's happening. Instead of 25 days of Christmas, we are doing what we are calling Happy Holidays. Um, and the reason for that is, well, one, I want to tell you that this information, we are going to be adding a link to emails coming up soon that will take you to this landing page, but it's our coupons and discounts landing page. So you can get there um, by going to planttherapy.com forward slash coupons dash and dash discounts. Okay, so planttherapy.com forward slash coupons with an S dash and dash discounts with an S at the end. Um, and it has all of this information, but I'm going to tell you. So here's what's going on. Black Friday is the absolute latest that Black Friday can be. Um, if we try to squeeze in 25 days of Christmas, um, like we have in the past, we just felt like that was not going to create a very good experience. A lot of the best deals were going to be after the cutoff um, to get your orders in time for Christmas and we were going to be pushing it right before Christmas and we just didn't feel like that was going to create the best experience. So we're changing things up a bit. We're now calling them Happy Holidays. Um, they officially, so our, our deals will officially officially begin on December 2nd, our happy holidays, our happy holidays will officially begin on December 2nd um, and run through the 21st. However, we are doing specific Black Friday and Black Friday weekend deals and maybe even some stuff leaning up to Black Friday. Like you've already seen the apron that we've, that we're doing right now, the special that we're running with the apron right now. So we are doing some things to lead up to Black Friday. We're doing special, very specific Black Friday and Black Friday weekend. So I'll tell you for Black Friday, get on the website, 
early. Early, early, early. Mm -hmm. Is everyone hearing that? <laughs> because I don't want to hear excuses. Come, no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. But seriously, get on the website early Black Friday morning. Get it, got it good? Okay. Um, so we are start doing special Black Friday and then our holiday deals will officially start on December 2nd and go through December 21st. Um, however, we do have deals that will go past December 21st. Um, they're just not specifically part of like what you will normally, what you've normally seen with our holiday deals. Um, so something is our holiday deals, our happy holiday deals is the same thing that you've seen with our 25 days of Christmas. It's a new deal every day. Um, so that's going to be very similar. It's just with the way it was going to be like with the shipping cut off and Black Friday being so late, like actually squeezing in 25 days from that December 2nd was going to be really hard. Um, so we're kind of doing like deals early, deals later, lots of deals. They're gonna be more than 25 days worth of deals, new deals every day, um, but it's called Happy Holidays this year. Is there a way to get to that page if you can't remember the link, like up in the, um uh, from the menu? Um, so I know in the footer, do you know on the menu if there's a way? Um, I haven't seen anything, but I can pin a comment on the Facebook um, Live so then people can kind of reference it a little bit easier. Okay, and the footer in the website, I'm on the website at the very bottom under support, there's a link um, that says coupon info. If you click on that, it takes you to that page. So okay. I don't know about the you know the um like at the top but on the footer you can get there if you if you don't remember what the url is yeah um so something else i want to say just so you can write it down you know because a lot of you use this to purchase gifts for christmas um our daily deals because they're great fantastic deals um you will need to order before noon on december 18th to receive your order before christmas so December 18th, if you have a booklet, you need to market a calendar, December 18th. So I would say like December 17th because it has to be before noon on December 18th. So to be safe, December 17th, last day to order to get your order in time for Christmas if you're getting Christmas gifts, using these holiday promotions as Christmas gifts. Okay, so that's all I have for you, um, except for kind of as, you know, just our wonderful, we love the holidays. Um, we are currently doing the free apron and um sorry <laughs> i have to reload my comments again i can't do two things at once but we are doing the free apron and oven mitt with a 40 dollars purchase when you use coupon code anybody remember it should i have be, it right there the it's thanks yeah, 19. It's... thanks 19. so for the 40 dollars purchase make sure you use coupon code thanks 19 and you'll get the apron and the mitt for free. That ends, um, it's while supplies last or it ends Friday. So in two days. So keep that in mind. There was a question that I saw. Yes, noon mountain time. Yep, so all of the holiday times um, are a mountain time. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a show, it was, uh, or a show, <laughs> saw a question. Um, are you able to this was a really good question. It was something about banking deals so that you can, let's see. I'm so sorry, guys. We are doing, they were asking if we're doing daily shows. We are doing a daily we show. We are doing a daily live. Well, a Monday through Friday. Oh, here we go. Maggie May, can you bank deals so you don't have to order each day? No. Nope, it has to be each day. Yep, once those deals are gone, that's it. Um, Donna says, won't that freeze up the site if everyone goes early? So we're doing a couple things to prevent that. Um, I can tell you, sign up for our SMS if you haven't already. I will give you that clue. <laughs> um, we are doing things to try to get people to order at different times, um, but it's important that you order early on, on Black Friday. Um, I did see someone say something about, um, what was it, what was it? Something about ordering on Black Friday. Where was that? Oh, P Pretty Paradise says, will Black Friday's discount be better than the daily deals from the 2nd to the 21st? 
So that really depends. The, the thing that we try to do with these deals is we try to make it so you could kind of get anything on your wish list at a great discount. Um, so some of them will be general discounts, you know, just like X amount off of an X amount order or X percentage off of specific products. We will have some BOGOs in there. We have some mystery gifts again. Um, so it really just depends. Um, I mean, it, Black Friday, obviously it's Black Friday, right? We're going to give you an amazing deal, but um, yeah, but so depending on products, <laughs> there might be a better deal later. Like it really just depends. But I, I can pretty much guarantee that like you won't be disappointed if you order on Black Friday, you won't be disappointed, you know, with the rest of the thing. There will most likely be something else that's on your wish list that also comes up that's also an amazing discount during the deals. So. Yeah, it's kind of the like love-hate relationship with the daily deals because, you know, it's really kind of a guessing game. Is this going to be the best discount for that specific product? Um, but we really, we don't do this to trick you guys, right? We're not like, ah, do it this, you know, 20% off and then have it be this, which only is 15. Like, we don't do that. We try to make every deal so that everyone can mark off anything on their wish list and get an amazing discount on it. Um, and that really is like, when we're going through the deals, if we see something that is especially like blatantly, oh, that's a better deal than this deal, like we'll change it because we don't want that to happen. So it just really is how you, how you mix and what's on your list. And I know that's like kind of crazy, but <laughs> that's how the holiday deals work <laughs> this year. Um, let's see. Marissa says, are there deals after Christmas day so I can spend my money I receive as gifts? Um, we will have some things after Christmas day. Yep, it's definitely going to be different than what we're doing during the holiday deals. So you can't expect the same thing, but we do have something prepared for the end of the year as well. There, there is so many great comments and questions, and if we don't get to it, I know guys, what is. Please. It's already five thirty-eight, and this is like oh, I wanted to get through everything else because I knew you guys were going to have. What is mountain time? I mean, that's a good question. <laughs> right now, it's like five thirty-eight mountain time. That's the time Idaho goes off of. So, calculate to whatever time that is, and that's the difference wherever you're at. Um, let's see. What time does Black Friday deal start? Am I allowed to give out that information? <laughs> hey, Caitlin. Caitlin is going like this. Um, I mean, early. can we? I mean, we can do whatever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I will see what information I can get to bring back. The clue I'm going to give you now is if you aren't signed up for our text messages, sign up for our text messages. I will tell you that now, okay? Um, I will say that I'm giving so much away and everyone, I don't know, it might be too much. Um, the text messages, they aren't going to get a better deal. They are going to get maybe a, maybe, <laughs> maybe an early access to try to break up like how many people are on the website at once. Okay. So don't be like, ah, maybe that's not fair that they're going to get a better deal. That's not what's happening. Um, but if you do want early access, then sign up for our text messages. If that's not important to you, um, you don't have to just be there early Black Friday morning. Um, and it's, I mean, it's pretty early that you need to be there. I will see if I can get that information for you. Like, how much do we want to give out? These are all supposed to be surprises and fun stuff. So I don't know. But I will continue to remind you of this throughout the next couple of shows so everyone is kind of aware and know that it's not going to be 25 days of Christmas anymore. It's happy holidays. We're super excited about this change. Um, and we know that it's going to create a lot better experience for our customers as well. That's why we're doing it. So, um, but I'll see. I might be able to give out that information. We'll just, we'll see how how much we feel like that's really like pushing the sneak peek and just giving you all information. Um, Natalie Proctor said, can the birthday code be used with the Christmas specials? Yes. I look at Caitlin. <laughs> I'm like, I should be able to. It usually yeah, combines it with Usually, yeah, it's yeah. true. So birthday and rewards usually can be combined with any other promotion that we run. Mm -hmm. Those two. Will we be having any shipping promotions for international customers? Um, that is a good question. I know we discussed it. I don't remember. If we I are. don't remember if we. Yeah. That is a good question. I'll bring that up because I know that's something that you guys. Marketing, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, Suzanne was asking, or was saying that each day sucks for those poor people who pay international shipping. So I know that is rough, and yeah. 
So yeah. if there's something. It's true. <laughs> we're trying to figure out what we can do always to, to make your experience the best it can be. Yeah. So. And I will say if this isn't your first year, you will see a lot of the same things that we did last year. At least the same ideas. Not like the exact same sales, but the same ideas. So keep that in mind if you are, you know, not a new customer, you're international, you can see what we did last year and maybe kind of plan for similar stuff like that to take advantage of, you know, I'm giving too much. <laughs> Jessica said, will Black Friday be one sale or different sales all the day? Jessica, shop Black Friday early. Okay? <laughs> I can't give you more information than that, but um, shop Black Friday early. Gosh, I wish all the places I shopped gave me this information. <laughs> right? Um, okay, any other questions? I've, I've noticed a couple of people asking about PT Friends. So PT Friends is um, going to be going away, but please send us your your stuff still um, because you might be getting something. Um, and then we are working on something that will replace PT Friends that will get you guys involved in the show even more than PT Friends has. Yep. Sherry says, any new oils during the holidays? You bet it. Wait. <laughs> you bet. I don't know. How would I say that? You bet there will be. You bet there will <laughs> you be. You bet it. <laughs> At one time, I mean, we have a lot of new products coming between now and the end of the year, like it is an insane amount that will include at least one new oil, <laughs> as well as a lot of other products. So, absolutely. Um, mountain Standard Time. Yep, everything that we do will be Mountain Standard Time. Okay, guys, anything on Instagram? We've been ignoring Instagram. Has it just been same um, with the similar questions? We have one person asking, when does PT Friends end? So, okay, so it ended kind of officially. Feel free to still continue to send in your things, um, but we won't be announcing or sharing them on here. Yeah, and, and, for a, uh, and here's an example. Somebody sent in something, and my mom has already taken care of her and her family. Taken care of her. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> So yeah, keep sending your stuff, and then we will, we'll we'll have something to replace it that you guys will enjoy very much. Yeah. And that will probably start in January. Again, uh, there's going to be so much stuff going on during I the holidays know. that. Yeah, we, we have, have to. We for. have to kind of calm everything else down during the holidays so we can focus on the holiday on the holidays, which is really hard to get used to. Working with plant therapy for seven years and not calling it 25 days of Christmas, you guys, that's really hard to get used to. But it's happy holidays, plant therapy, happy holidays. Um, okay, so Jody says, I need more money. Don't we all, Jody? <laughs> oh, I know. But the here, point here. of this isn't to make you guys stress. It's to allow you to save money on the things that you were already going to buy, right? Um, that's why we do this. Not so you go and spend millions of dollars that you don't have, but the things that you have, the things that you've wanted, it now gives you an opportunity to save money on gifts, save money on the products for yourself. So we really want it to make it a, you know, an awesome yeah, experience. So. That's the word I'm looking for. Shanoa says, any CBD specials? Shanoa, check back daily. Um, okay, that's all. If you have any other gifts, we will talk about this in the future. I'll continue to remind you guys. But, you know, Black Friday isn't a week from, yeah. it's oh in goodness. nine days, right? A week from this Friday. So it's coming fast. Um, constantly be checking the website because we constantly have things coming and it's exciting. This is the most wonderful time of year. Um, I told you guys that I knocked off a bunch of my, my um, Christmas list items by purchasing products that were on our, um, that are on our, um, Gift guide. Gift guide. Thank you. So if you haven't seen these, wait, I'm just going to like, ah, right? When I got it in the mail, even though it's not for me, it's a gift. I was like, ah, okay, that's all. <laughs> there, I mean, I opened every single one of them just because it was like heavenly to do. And then I thought, I didn't buy these for myself. I should. <laughs> okay. That's all. Let me see. I'm going to, we're going to do one more giveaway. Yes, we are. Um, I'm just going to see if there's a recap really Fast oil of the week, cardamom, 15% off, no coupon code necessary. Last oil of the week until January. So if it's on your list, get it now. No more oil of the weeks though. So don't expect one next Wednesday. Uh, Mercury retrograde, today is the last day to purchase it. So if you haven't already, get it today because it won't be gone until Mercury destroys our lives again. 
Um, <laughs> let's see, free apron and oven mitt with a $40 purchase. Use coupon code THANKS19. That's really important because if you don't, then it just takes customer service a long time to take care of it, which is cool if you don't and you you know missed it, still reach out to us. But if you can remember, use the coupon code because that just makes it better for everyone. Um, we'll be back on Friday for a live to do the Turkey's Tummy Tamer DIY. So who's ready for our final giveaway? I think it's time because we so. all have lives. Nah, I'll be at work for a little bit longer, but <laughs> you guys do, I'm certain. <laughs> okay. You have until midnight tonight to enter this giveaway. To enter the giveaway, you must do so via the giveaway link, Instagram. The giveaway link can be found in the Plant Therapy Insta Stories. Go to that story, click through until you get to the one that says giveaway, swipe up and it will take you to the giveaway link. Facebook and YouTube, the giveaway link can be found in the comment section as well as in the live description section. So just click on it and answer this question. What, wait, this was last week's. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what the question is. It's up on the screen. Who is the person you have the most difficult time finding a gift for? Oh, hands down my dad, right? And you can win. Can I get the, a name in? Okay, what can they win? <laughs> they can win all three of the lip balms. Oh, yay. So, Some more lip balm giveaways. Let's choose three winners. No, let's do five winners. Five lip balm winners. Five winners. So tell us, who is the most difficult person to get a gift for, to pick out a gift for? Caitlin? Um, I would say my husband. Really? He likes expensive stuff. So. Oh. <laughs> oh then so like give him a, here's, you know, $50 towards your $500 thing you want. <laughs> yeah, because he's a mechanic. So he's like, I'd like a wrench and that will be $500. <laughs> and you're like, here's 25 Save up for it. <laughs> I drew you a picture of a wrench. <laughs> I got you a snap-on sticker. <laughs> that that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's that's fantastic. Um, okay, you guys tell us who's the most difficult person to buy a gift for. We are going to choose five winners, and the five winners are going to win the Holiday Sweets Natural Lip Balm Set. So they're wonderful. Um, awesome gifts, whatever. I've already talked about that guy. You guys have an amazing evening. We'll be back Friday, 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time to have that Turkey's DIY. Tummy Tamer. Yeah. Turkey's Tummy Tamer. So join us then. See you guys.